Kids, life is sure messy right now, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And no matter how much I try to get away from it, no matter how high I climb, no matter where I go, I can't get away from this mess. Ah! But here's the cool thing. I know that I can call on God because you know what? I'm blessed. I mean, we're blessed. And we're blessed by God, and we can call on Him to get us out of this mess anytime, just like that. Oh, that is so much better. I know that I can call on God. I know I'm blessed, and I know that He can change our circumstances. But here's the deal that we need to remember God doesn't take away the messiness, He doesn't take things away. He actually helps us go through the messiness, to go through the craziness in life. He shows us ways for us to go through it so we don't have to do it alone. In fact, he's given us a verse for us to live on so that we can live with him and be salt and light for him. And what does that even mean? Well, here's the verse first. It's Matthew 5, 13. It says, you are the salt of the earth. I am, what? But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Hmm, just so happens I have some salt here. And I think it's kind of funny that God is referring to me as being salt of the earth or us being salt of the earth. But here's what I believe he is saying in this message. Think about this. What if you had a baked potato? and there was no salt on it. It looks good, but what would it taste like? Or what about French fries? What if there was no salt on the fries? They sure wouldn't be as good, would they? Or what about potato chips? What if they were just chips with no salt on them? Salt makes those things taste better. God wants us as people that love him and believe in him and call on him when things are a mess. He wants us to be salt to others so that living life for Jesus, living life for God, looks good and tastes good. I mean, life is messy out there, but we can be a part of making it better. See, God needs his people, needs us kids needs us to go out there and be salt. I want you to think about this. You know, salt is also used to preserve things, to keep things so they don't go bad. So when I think of salt about making things taste good and I think of about keeping things so they don't go bad, it helps me realize that I, as somebody who loves Jesus, should be somebody that is living life to preserve God's goodness and God's grace and the things that God and the way God wants us to live. He desires for us to live in the chaos, but do it like he would. We don't have to get all caught up in our anxiousness or in our frustrations. We can ask God to help us through so we can show others how to live and also help ourselves how to live. I'm gonna use salt as an example here. Um, let's take glue, oops, let's take some glue here, and um, I'm gonna just pour this right in my hand here. Ooh, this is gonna be messy. Ooh. And I'm gonna take some salt, and I'm gonna pour it in my hand where I put the glue. I'm asking Jesus to take it and make it so that I can be a good instrument for God and I can basically get rid of the mess in my life. See, we can be salt to get rid of messiness that is going on, whether it's at school or at home. We can call on God and say, I wanna be salt. I wanna be, I wanna preserve and I wanna be good and I wanna taste good for others. So kids, you do not have to live in life like this in a mess. You can live with God like this. Be salt. Be the salt of the earth for God. 
go out there in the middle of everything and remember, let's preserve God's grace and his wisdom and his love and let's go out and be salt to others for Jesus. Bye.